I want to turn the tables on labels. Therefore, I must call the bad news good news. You see, with, within each new catastrophe that's reported, well, I think there could be a silver lining. Now you may ask, what good can come out of the world's chaos? I believe a tremendous hope can be found in the mess that is reported as news. The unimaginable fear exploding across the Middle East casts a plague of uncertainty across the globe. The enemies of Israel and the forces that hate our God disperse the seeds of desperation capable of birthing a deep hunger for God among millions of people who will soon recognize their urgent need for His help, for His protection, and for His love. But this hunger for God will come at a high cost. Soon, their misplaced faith will fail them because it is rooted in a bogus belief system. They have trusted in lies and religious shams. Such foolish belief systems will drag them down. In my narrow view, any religion that promotes an unholy conflict with the true gospel of Jesus Christ, well, it's, it's a false religion. Now, that doesn't mean I hate the people who follow false religions. That, that's simply not the case at all. And it doesn't mean that the people who follow false religions are bad people. It simply means that I choose to follow a simple religious system that limits who and how I worship. And what I do must conform to the simple limits placed on me by that simple religious system. Now, much of the world sees things very differently. That's okay. I believe much of the world is about to be shaken. Ha! And that's the good news. You see what I mean? The bad news is good news. God will soon shake our world more severely than it has ever been shaken. Those who are prepared will be able to offer hope to the hopeless. The true church of Jesus the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. That true church will participate in a mighty outpouring of soul-saving conviction. The fear of God will be made real to many people in these last days. There will be a great harvest born in the fields of struggle. Believers who are prepared, well, they're going to be mightily used by God to win the lost. Great faithfulness will bring great fruitfulness. It'll do it here. And let me tell you, there's going to be even greater rewards in heaven. The people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Those are the words of the Hebrew prophet Daniel. Good news can come from all the bad news floating around. I also have more bad news that is good news. If there is sin in your life, buddy, it's going to kill you if you fail to remove it. The good news is that God will help you turn from that which displeases Him. If you walk in a weak faith, well, you don't have to stay there. It's time to get your faith supercharged. God will fill you with His Holy Spirit and lead you in a bold faith that will gloriously reveal your calling for these times. Don't be left out of the harvest. Don't disqualify yourself through a wrong connection to this fallen world. Whatever you do, don't live in allegiance to Babylon. If your citizenship has been declared in the kingdom of God, don't fall for something temporary when you can be assured of the eternal. Now is the time to plant the stakes of your faith deep in the bedrock of truth. Now is the time to build every area of your life and family on the foundational realities of the Bible. Bad news can be your motivation to spread the good news, the gospel. 